Let's see how you can convert a class instance into an XML and JSON string. I've got a person class here with some name, age and hobbies properties. And to convert this to XML, we need to add these decorators to the properties. XML element is used for simple values like strings and integers. And we can specify the name of the tag here. For arrays and lists, we can use XML array and provide the name of the parent tag. And then XML array item, which will be the children elements, as shown in the example here. To convert or serialize a class to XML, we first set up the serializer with a person type, and then we'll create a string writer that the serializer is going to write to. The serialize function will also take in our person instance here. To convert back or deserialize from XML, we form a similar sort of thing, but instead use a string reader and call the deserialize function. Let's call these functions up here with an example person instance and test it out. So as you can see in the console, we have the XML string and underneath is successfully converted back to a person class. If you want to remove these XML namespaces here, you can do this by adding in this extra parameter to the serialize function. Now let's look at converting to and from JSON, which is much simpler. You'll first need to install the Newtonsoft JSON package in the console like so. Then we can add the decorators to our class properties like we did for the XML conversion. This time we're using JSON property in every case. To serialize a class to a JSON string, simply call the serialize object function, passing in the person instance here, and optionally we can return an indented JSON string. And then to convert back, call deserialize object, providing the person type and JSON string. Let's test it out again by calling these functions. And there we are, we now have our JSON object, and it's been converted back successfully. Be sure to leave a like if you found this useful, and to keep up to date with all the latest .NET and web dev tips, subscribe to Azure Coding on YouTube. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below.